if you don't mind, I'm grabbing some of your stock. Figure that makes us even. Yeah, sure, of course. Take what you want. Fixes will be breathing down my neck soon. <sighs> I didn't even know Rose was dead. She should have just walked away. There's no evidence that Bloom arranged her death. Hell, Layden. You don't know that they didn't. You know, I've seen a lot of things that don't add up. Ant City deals, voter rigging. All it takes is one good PR team to sweep that all away. After Rose died, they created that. Now, I don't know the hows and whys of it, but that code is dangerous. Something about... I couldn't make much sense of it, but it was something about Bell or something. Bell with it. That's what he wanted. You gotta burn that code, man. The rest of it, I don't care what you do with it. You know, Aiden, I'm, uh, I'm sorry about Clara. So am I. This whole thing is shit, no matter how you cut it. Careful, Aiden. When the lights go out, bad things tend to happen. Where several of Bloom's top executives are now being questioned about a series of graphic sex videos leaked online. While the officer's case is not clearly visible in the cell phone's video, the police have not matched number is. Shocking footage has surfaced implicating Mayor Rushmore in the murder of a woman, Rose Washington. The woman was a former CTOS employee reported missing over a year ago. Mayor Rushmore has refused to comment, but a statement released by City Hall claims the footage is a fake, made by the hacker group DedSec in order to discredit the mayor. That's right, fuck you, Damien. <laughs> What's going on guys, I'm Jake the Offensive Gamer and this is Watch Dogs Part 25. After everything we've suffered, you just give it all away? What have you done? Are you mad? I don't know anymore. But I do know Nikki's safe. And I know you'll pay for Clara. You think you're the hero in all this? Read your old press. You're a terror to this city. You and your vain glorious bullshit. Come on then. Come and get me. Let's finish this. Oh, but there's one thing I forgot to mention. You like that? Ah. I've unlocked CTOS. Completely. I am inside the system. And you are in for a show. Oh, shit. Not good. It's like default all over again. So there I am, waiting for my train when the lights go out. I guarantee you that's just the start of it. Damien has full access. Over my dead body. I'm not gonna let my CTOS baby get cooped up on that wackadoodle. There's a weak point he won't know about. Now get over there and shut it down. I'll end his joyride quick and pronto. I'll call you once I'm in. Nice to have you back. I do like being useful. Ah uh ha, -huh, fuck. Alright, I'll go ahead and mark the map. Here it is. So, yeah, I guess Aiden just kind of released all of the information that there was available to use as blackmail, so Damien's pretty fucking pissed. Also, I did a little bit of looking up, um, you know, not uh, actually on the mission itself, fuck me, uh, but I did look up to see if this is the final mission, and it is. It really is a wonder of human ingenuity. A model system making a model city for model citizens. I wonder what Bloom said about potential hacks to the system. Sound debate, I'm sure. Hackers, oh, relax. Our CTOS is the most advanced. Blah 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 blah. Hubris, Aiden. It'll get you every time. But then you know that very well, don't you? 
Jesus Christ. Why don't I just walk? You know, I'm not gonna do that, but like, these hacks would have no effect on me if I just, you know, walked on the sidewalk the entire way there. Shit. I don't know what the fuck that was, but something. That was, there was a thing there. Of some sort. Oh no. That's gonna stop me. Excuse me. Alright then. So from what I understand, this mission's pretty long. So, uh, there might be a few cuts every once in a while. Just giving you guys fair warning. Um, but I'm, I'll only cut out, like, the really boring parts. Or, like, where there's a lot of long, drawn-out stuff. Because I heard there's, like, a really bad, like, really long chase scene. Or scene, but, you know, area where I'm getting chased by cops. And those are never really fun to watch. At least, in my opinion. Okay, then. Both of those are activated that- okay. Awesome. Whoa, 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 whoa. Holy fuck, that was... Whoa. Jesus Christ, these have like a... One second limit on them. Are you serious? Shit. Can't get past the firewall. T-Bone might have an idea. Oh. Okay, I was about to say, that's fucking impossible. He blocked us out. I need him disconnected fast. Well, shit. I got one idea, but last time I did it, people died. If we don't do it, people will die. What do you got? The whole network's tied to a satellite. Rums is kind of a safety valve to CTOS. I got a homemade virus. A real mean motherfucker. You gotta install it from three separate points. What does it do? It'll shut down your man. That's for damn sure. This could get ugly. You don't know the half of it, amigo. Call me when they're installed and we'll get it done right. Alright, so we have three points we have to get to. Alright. One there, one there, and one there. I'll go ahead and get to this one first. Did you really think you could stop me so easily? I'm disappointed. I took you for someone more clever, but I'm forced to see you're like everyone else. Uh-oh. Ah, the silent treatment. You'll leave me an emotional wreck. And who knows what I'll do in such a state? <laughs> Come on! Aiden, impress me! What will you do now? Throw me off my game? Move, dick faces. Oh shit. Damien's screwing with the navigation. He's trying to slow me down. Focus on one location at a time. Gots to use those. I don't want to get caught. I want to at least get one out of the way before I get completely fucked by this area. Or by these guys. Okay, so I gotta upload the virus to this area. And I gotta do it two more times after this. I don't imagine this is gonna be easy. Feels like I'm rocking back and forth. What the fuck's going on with the camera? Wow. Check out all this control. Watch your gun. All right, I guess I think I thought that I might be able to like shoot out the windows or something. All right. No, you fucking asshole, the gates!
Oh, shit. Uh, I, I think this is one of them. So every one of them can know what it feels like to have their future taken from them. And I'm saving the best for you. Jesus Christ, this is not the right car for this. Oh my god. Oh, fantastic. Is it, it looks like it's taking me straight there, too. Oh, this is brilliant. Okay, I only have one jam com left. I'm kind of wasting these. Excuse me. This, like, I really wish this wasn't currently daytime. It would make this probably a hell of a lot easier. Excuse me. I said, excuse me. Thank you very much, Damien. No, wait, no, 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 go back, go back. Looks like you didn't need your hacker chick after all. Sorry. For some reason, they can't see me. Shit. Sorry. I, th I remember the last one was right here. Hey, you brought this on yourself, asshole. You know, I mean, you don't get to go all like, Oh, you gonna go beat up the cripple now? No, you decided to put yourself in this situation. You fucking deal with it. You're a big boy. Sorry, excuse me. Sorry. Ha 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 ha, you're all fucked. See how smart this network is? It anticipates a problem. You. And fix it. Ah, titties. Okay, here we go. Once again, the cops are too stupid to do what I literally just did in front of them. Fuck you, asshole. That was a good one. Good job. I didn't see that coming. I'm not hiding. You're just not very good at your jobs. I'm seriously, I'm not hiding. I'm driving very fast down the road. Hopefully I won't need more jam comms. Look how efficiently our digital
Sentinel City hunts you down. It saves Shit. energy consumption. That's the great thing about viruses. They can just spread out of control. Alright, we're almost there. We're almost there. Gates closed, motherfuckers. Try to get that shit open. I think you're too stupid. Get in the fucking vehicle, Jesus! Like, holy shit! All right. I win, motherfuckers. It's done. Your viruses are in. All right. We're in it now. Do you head back to that weak point? Right where we started. Now it'll open up for you like a lady's... Uh, never mind. You'll have a clear oh, that's line funny. of the satellite, and that's what's important. Okay, clear line of the satellite. You say that's the safety valve? And a little more. Once you're inside, you pull the trigger. Lights out, Aiden. And if we're lucky, and I'm as clever as my CV says, you'll get a lock on Damien's location. That's all I want. Alright, um, it's a decent distance away, so I'll see you guys in a second. And we're back, bitches. I'm getting me inside here. There we are. Wrong way. I'm gonna get over there eventually with my motorcycle. Boom, motherfucker, and goes right outside the door. Yeah. That's how that works. Ah, oh, what's this? Give us 30 seconds. For what? 30 seconds inside ZTOS. We drop in our code. Then, when the system reboots, DeadSec will control the machine from inside. We will correct what boom is broken. 30 seconds is all we need. 30 seconds, no one knows? Our little secret? We will be the watchdogs. No. I'm tired of all the noise. We will not forget this. That's okay. We can save that for the sequel, that there most definitely will be. So that's what Ubisoft does, and every game development company for that matter. You have a successful game, you make it into a big-ass franchise that loses all of its meaning. Because fuck you! Alright. How do I make that? Go there and the, then damn it, I had it. There we go. And there we are. Can I still hack into things? No. I guess I was already able to do that before. It's like you had your chance. You you can fucking just play the game now. Shit. I'm about to shut down Chicago. My God. Oh no. Where did you people come from? I was just riding around on my motorcycle in here. Did you not find that odd? Yeah, now you can't fuck with me. How about that? And it started raining suddenly. That's odd. It's almost like the game just automatically knew it was the end. So, you know, you gotta make it rain. That's how games Why end. Why are you so damn stubborn? Quinn's dead. You got your sister back. And Clara? She stabbed you in the back. She helped kill your precious Lena. You know it's true. What about you? Some might blame you for Lena's death. 
I wonder who would think that, huh? But why stop there? Perhaps we should blame you. As I recall, the Merlot job was your plan. I blame myself every day for the plan, for meeting you, for not stopping you when I had the chance. I don't make that mistake anymore. I see a problem, I step in. Oh yes, the vigilante. I've read your headlines. You're the only problem I see. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The phone call stopped? Oops. I didn't realize that would happen. But just, of course, it's at the fucking lighthouse. Like, I can tell immediately where this is headed. It's a lighthouse. Power's still running out there. That's Damien. That's right. Better watch it. I totally wasn't actually trying to hit him or anything like that. I was just giving him a warning. But yeah, I, I mean, this is going to be like a showdown at the top of the lighthouse or something with the rain and the, the storm and, and the soliloquies and monologues and you, you were never a friend to me and all that shit. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> Remember when you and I first decided to pool our talents? The schemes we were planning? <laughs> we had so much drive, but never like this. Look outside. We've taken down a goddamn city! Just waiting. Here we are. Just, uh, since this is probably the ending here, I just want to take one last look at how beautiful this game could have been had, for whatever reason, Ubisoft decided to not fuck with the E3 graphics. Anyway. Where are you, Damien? Now I'm spending my final hours standing on the Widow's Walk. That's what they call the Lighthouse Lookout. The Widow's Walk. Did you know that? I didn't. Seems fitting. Everything reeks of conclusion. Does it? Where are you, Damien? Ooh, ladder. Come on. Surprise, surprise. You got a speech, Damien? Anything you want to say? I know who I am now. That's it? That's all you got? Hey, fuck you! Look at you! You plowed over people to get to a mob boss. You think you're absolved because your cause is what? Noble? You played me. That's what this is about. I played you! Clara is as much your fault. So is your niece. That's why you sent your family away, right? They know what you are. You play a beautiful game, but sometimes you still lose. Blah, blah, blah. Jesus, you guys talk a lot. What are you doing here? Sorry, pal. New contract. Kick it over. What? Come on, kick it over. You know, you guys take things far too personally. That's your problem. That's why this went wrong. There's lessons to be learned here, fellas. Up, 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 phone two. Give it to me. Come on, hand it over. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck you, whatever your name is. I don't know what Damien wanted in those final moments. Death, I suppose. I thought I could fix the little girl's death, but instead it led to all of this. Exposed lies, corrupted kings, a broken city. And me, changed man. I don't look back anymore. I don't regret. Look forward. Everything is connected. And I'll use that to expose, to protect, and if necessary, to punish.
once again. Mayor Rushmore is dead. Police are not revealing any information. The leaked documents found extensive corruption and deep ties between the mayor and the Chicago South Club leader, Lucky Quinn. Did the mayor kill himself over this exposure, or was he executed? Bloom Director of Public Relations, Charlotte Gardner, has issued a statement regarding the recent CTOS troubles. We knew all along that our CTOS network would be a target for hackers of all strengths and skills. It's been an excellent proving ground to demonstrate how robust our system really is. We're so pleased with the results. Our firewall security withheld the worst of the attacks, and in some cases, trip switches closed the systems off before any access could be gained. Your personal information remains secure. Our CTOS network is restored to full operations. In a world where we want to spend more time with loved ones, be active in our communities, have safer, healthier homes and cities, Bloom Industries listen to you and your needs. We are embarking on a global journey. We want the world to be a community. CTOS 2.0, focusing on you, putting you on the global stage. CTOS 2.0, making smart cities even smarter. Up next, an interview with a woman who claims to know the vigilante, Aiden Pierce. Renowned child psychologist Yolanda Mendez is with us. Dr. Mendez, your story is extraordinary. You actually know Aiden Pierce, the man we know as the vigilante. Tell us how that came about. I met Mr. Pierce through the family, his sister. This was a surprise to us. We couldn't find any information about him at all. It's great that you've come forward. You were treating her son for trauma? Yes, well, naturally, I can't discuss any of that. Not even their names. No, 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 no. <laughs> we wouldn't ask you to. But that's how you met Aiden Pierce. What's he like? It's impossible to say for certain what he's really like. He masks his personality, and he's very good at it. Is he? It isn't like someone playing poker. This is a very smart man who is looking to gain the upper hand in every situation. And you're writing a book. Yes, I am. It's a book about the whole experience. A study on Mr. Pierce. I really wanted to explore this complex man's mind. I'm sure it'll be a fascinating read. Dr. Mendez, thank you. Sick has had enough. Our warnings have fallen on deaf ears. Our reputation has been attacked by weaklings such as Default. Heed our final warning. There will be a reckoning. We are vigilant against the Watchers. We are capable. We are unstoppable. We are at war. While a statement from the commissioner's office acknowledges the recent decline in criminal activity, the vigilante known as the Fox is only given the slightest praise for his crime-fighting efforts. An anonymous source told our reporters that members of the police department are more enthusiastic about the vigilante than they are allowed to publicly disclose. With Chicago still reeling from the shocking revelations of Rose Washington's murder and Mayor Rushmore's subsequent death, there has been little appetite for politics or elections. One name that's been floated about is Bloom's VP of Communications, Charlotte Gardner. Her supporters insist Ms. Gardner will restore integrity and trust to a city that sorely needs it. City officials are picking up the pieces from the shocking chaos brought on by a massive CTOS malfunction. The city experienced major power outages, bridge disruptions, and thousands of dollars in damages. While CTOS is back online, many are raising questions about the safety features needed to run a complex system in a major city. I'm bleeding here. You? I'm holding up. I got one last bone for you to chase. Maurice finally gave in, then suddenly he was all talk. I'll give you a location, the rest you can work out yourself. That's business, huh? Yeah, that's right. It's all business. Jordy's like that. Tidy fixer. Keeps the loose ends clean. Maurice is one of his loose ends. And he's ultimately my problem. He's the one who shot my car. Killed my niece. I want to say we're different, but I don't 
don't know anymore. How many people have I hurt? Killed. Who deserves to die? Who decides that? I don't know, this isn't really a very difficult decision for me, uh, having heard all of those audio recordings and all that. you man huh you're fucked you get that we're both fucked fucking show me come on huh? make you sleep better at night kill the guy that killed your niece good for you you selfish fuck yeah it is her I know it. Maurice is living his own private hell. He's a victim in all of this. And I've seen enough death. He's gonna get a second chance. We both are. Alright, so I think that that is the... Yeah, seems like that's full on the end of Watch Dogs. And, um... I have quite a few opinions on this game. Uh, this might be copyrighted. I'll keep an ear out. Well, if it is, then you won't be hearing it. But anyway. Um, you know, this game is kind of a mixed bag for me. Uh, obviously, just like most people, going into it, I was... Re yeah, this is definitely copyrighted. Um, going into it, I was expecting this game to be like, you know, game of the year caliber. Like, this is going to be the best title of the year. Bar none, right? Most people were looking forward to this more than any other game this year. And to most people, it kind of fell short. Uh, and a lot of people use the excuse that it's because of the graphics. You know, they're not nearly as good as what was shown in E3. Now that I played, I'd say I played about a quarter, 
maybe a fifth of the game with those graphics. And though it did absolutely enhance the, the experience overall, I still wouldn't argue that it makes it great. You know, it doesn't make it game of the year quality. You still have issues in this game. And even with the improved um, performance that come came with the mod, I'm sorry, but but it still wasn't perfect. It was better, but uh, you know the performance still wasn't great. Um, and that's the thing about Ubisoft is that they really just don't give a sh well they they really don't give that much of a shit about PC when it comes right down to it. They don't seem to optimize their games very well um, for PC. I can't remember the last PC ver uh, version of a Ubisoft title that was really very well optimized um, that I played at least. Uh, you know, you can just go back to AC4 and how just terrible that ran uh, when it first came out. It was like 20 FPS or something like that. It was just pathetic. Um, See, so yeah, and from a technical standpoint, there are quite a few issues with this game. But but uh, graphically, you know, as long as it has the E3 stuff in there, it's still you know it looks fantastic. Honestly, it looks it really does look great. Um, but that's not the only thing that I'm going to use to, you know, um, give my opinion on it. There are other things about this game. You know, there's a story, there's characters and all that. And, um, you know, for the most part, I can respect it. I respect the story. It's pretty straightforward. It's a classic, you know, revenge story. That has a little bit of a twist in it uh, every once in a while. But, um, you know, the way I look at it... I really had a hard time getting that into the story, regardless of how interesting it might be, simply because I didn't really give a shit about most of the characters. You know, most characters in this game were pretty one-dimensional, uh, with the exception of Aiden and Clara, I would have to say. Everybody else pretty much only has one side to them. And the thing about Clara is that she's not really in it enough for me to really care about her character. I mean, it kind of sucked seeing her die and all that, but... In the end, it could have been a lot more powerful had they done it uh, better. Um, but once again, I didn't care about her character enough because they just didn't develop it. She, they, they just kind of had her there, and that's really all there was. And then with Aiden, he's too fucking monotone to matter uh, for for it to matter what kind of dimensions his his character might have. You know, he's just too bland and basic for it to make a difference. So yeah, due to that, no, none of these people really matter to me all that much uh, in the grand scheme of it all. Scheme of it all. Um, you know, and another thing I want to mention is, is the execution. That's another big thing that I have a problem with. The execution of a lot of um, the, 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 the uh, story or the, the points of the, in the story um, weren't done very well, especially by the end. That's another thing I had. That's a big thing that I, that I'm having a problem with. Is this ending felt rushed? It felt like too much was happening in one area. You know, where like you're at the lighthouse. I think that that goes over the course of a minute, minute and a half to two minutes. Over that course of time, you gather the information that a, um, you know, it's the basic stuff where it's like you know Damien's going on his very short monologue about uh, about how Aiden's a hypocrite and all that shit. Then you have Jordy coming in, and it comes to realiza the realization that he's betraying you, which kind of makes sen sense for his character, but still, nonetheless, kind of a huge thing to go just kind of gloss over. And then you punch Jordy and throw him off the lighthouse, and then kill Damien. All of all of this happens in about 120 seconds. That's a lot of stuff to happen for such a short period of time, and that should have been longer. And that's something that I... This is the second game that Ubisoft has, has rushed the ending um, to where really t not enough... Um, uh, there's not enough of an impact a as there should be, at least. Uh, so this is kind of an issue that I'm noticing. Uh, you know, Assassin's Creed 3 had the same problem, but I won't get into that right now. Uh, what all I can really say is that they could have done a lot of things better and it would have made me respect this game a hell of a lot more. Um, so I guess going to gameplay, uh, the shooting and combat and stuff, I've heard some people shit on it. I personally enjoyed it. I really like that, you know, for the most part, you, you couldn't just go around going Rambo. Like, you had to take cover because if you didn't, you would get fucked up pretty quickly. Um, it only takes a, probably about three or four shots to kill you um, from like a shotgun or, well, from like a, a heavy, more heavier duty weapon, you know, a pistol might take a little bit more, but it's like 
the enemies are easy or are, are pretty easy to kill for the most part it takes a few shots which makes sense so it felt like realistic combat you felt like you were in danger and you were kind of you were up against something if you had like a whole bunch of people after you um so I, I respect that the driving took me a while to get used to but I started to enjoy that as well so from a, a gameplay aspect um, and the the uh, hacking and all these different sorts of mechanics they had that is probably its strongest point um, that, that I'd have to give it uh, you know performance like I said wasn't great the story and characters were were kind of bland and, and um, generic but uh, I will give it that much the gameplay was well done um, so with all that having been said from an objective point of view I'd have to say that I like if I have to put a number on it I wouldn't give this more than like a 7.5 like I really I, I was very disappointed by this game overall uh, there's quite a few games I actually enjoyed more than this and I might get I might kind of get bashed for it but you know like Wolfenstein I actually enjoy enjoyed a hell of a lot more than this game Wolfenstein had its problems but it, it did what it was trying to do well and I don't feel like this game did everything it was trying to do well and that's a big problem um, you know so considering that you know that's that's the reason for the 7.5 and now these are these reviews that I give are usually pretty off the cuff I don't have a lot of time to digest everything I'm saying so I might end up changing my mind like I remember I gave like thief a 7.7 .7 when I when I finished it I'd probably bump the points down on that a little bit um, if I had the chance to re uh, review it again but um still nonetheless my, uh, it, it remains I, my basic uh, thought process on this probably isn't going to change that much. I was disappointed by the game and I felt it was kind of generic. So considering that, um, and, uh, that is my opinion. Um, I don't really know what other games there are this year to really look forward to. Anything that's being published or developed by Ubisoft I hold with a grain of salt. Not because of their quality, but because of their time frame. Ubisoft is pretty much delays every single game they make now. I mean, it just seems to be kind of a trend. So. I don't expect Far Cry 4 to come out in November or whenever it's supposed to. And, uh, you know, given that, you know, I don't know. There's there's a couple other games to look forward to this year, but I'm really kind of concerned about 2014. A lot of the games that people have been looking forward to have been kind of a, a disappointment. I felt the same way about Infamous Second Son. I enjoyed it, but I didn't love it. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm talking way too much, and this video is getting way too long. So, I'm going to stop it before I, it gets to the point where I'm just repeating myself constantly. So, um, yeah, I guess look forward to more L.A. Noir, and I'll probably pick up another game pretty soon. Uh, and with that, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and all that, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks to you, CTOS Network has had a successful year. With CTOS Chicago setting the standard, we are proud to announce an expansion into other major cities across the country and around the world. There's no better way to bring the city right to your doorstep. Look for CTOS 2.0 in the new year. CTOS, the future at the touch of a button. Oh, hey, look, a sequel.